Backblaze has released their Q3 2018 hard drive stats. Less is more. So I've always enjoyed these. I've done a video, which I'll link to as well, where I go more in depth with some of the hard drive statistics and what they all mean. But this is a quick overview of all the drives that they have, number of drive days, drive counts, and failures. And this is the only place I know that has a really detailed report over time because you can get the impression that hard drives are failing because you see a lot of them because a lot of them were sold so they come in and you go hey i see all of this brand hard drive failing because i see a lot of them out there but that doesn't give you the count for how many are really there so back to playing the statistics they give you those stats which is very helpful so you get a better understanding of which hard drives are really failing so here they are so hgst and this has been through all the years, and we're going to jump to that because they have the longer term overview of this. HGST, been a favorite drive of mine for a lot of our projects and a lot of our servers. And they're clearly a winner over at Backblaze, and they have some of the lowest average failure rates. Now, to give you just a quick overview, they have 79 of these drives. Drive days is how many days cumulatively these 79 drives have been running. So they haven't been running each one 6,000 days, but it's the cumulative time that they're running. So you get a better idea how that math equation works. So with 25,000 drives running 24 hours a day, so that's how many days you've been installed, you come up with 2.2 uh, million drive days with 78 failures, and we see 1.29%. Because it's one of those important things when you're looking at this, it's not just about drive failures, it's how long have they been in place during this period of time. But Seagate consistently, you know, a lot of drive days and 0.8% on these Seagates here, 0.96% here. Now, I got to admit, 1.29% based on this drive days is not terrible for the Seagates because you're talking about a drive count of 25,000 of these 12 terabyte drives. So it's still a pretty low annual failure rate. But we go down here and look at some of these where we have like 1.3 million drive days for this HDST 4 terabyte model. I think these are the same models I have in my server right now, 0.27%. Uh, so granted, this is low, but this is even lower. And the same thing here for this particular model. So this is the 404 BLE640 and ALE640. And I don't know the specific differences, uh, but, you know, 0 0.34, 0 0.27%. So they're really, really close. Western Digital with only 39,000 drive days, 4.64%. So they're kind of, yeah, they're kind of out there. And of course, here's another one, 2.3 million drive days in the Seagate 4 terabyte. That's just not good, 2.28% failure rate. So pretty high for both the uh, 4 terabyte Seagates and these. Now let's wander down a little bit here and look at the overall because they keep the running totals going since they started this project of documenting all the drive details. So from April 2013 to September 2018, we can see that we have an annual fail rate, because they just haven't been in that long, of these 12 terabyte ones of 0% uh, failed of these 79. And then we look at the Seagates again with 5 million drive days for these 12 terabytes. Now you're, you know, expand the time range, 1.2%. So it's not super high, but it is there. I'm not sure how they calculate. I'm not going to go into the confidence rate. These are the uh, average failure rate column that we're looking at here. HGST 8 terabytes, still 0.98%. So a little bit higher than the fours, but not, not crazy. It's not all the way up at 1.2. Or like this Western Digital 6 terabyte, like, man, 4% uh, failure. So Western Digital 6 TBs, not looking good for them at all. And then we go down here and we come back to these HDSTs. Now we're looking at them over time and we do see over time more from fail, but you're talking about 10 million and 13 million drive days in point and being at 0.5 and 0.46%. Now they do have an overall average of only 1.7%. So they're still all falling on the below average with the Seagate down here, Seagate four terabytes at above average failure rates. And then our Western digital four terabytes here. Now, these drive stats, I think, are important. I wish more companies would reveal what hardware they were using and how they were doing it. And Backblaze just does a great job of this, of putting these stats out there so we can get some really good feels. I install a lot of these HGSTs based on this and knock on wood. I have not had any problems. Have I seen a lot of Seagate failures? Absolutely. Um, but that's not enough for me saying, oh, yeah, I've seen these fail to say it's a statistic. But when we look at a company that's installing 14,000 hard drives, 
chips. Okay, they have a much better testing pool for this. So I still think this is a great source uh, for gathering some of that data. I'll leave links below to some of those HDSTs and other drives um, that they use in here. And you can find them through our Amazon if you want to purchase one of these. But like I said, I still lean towards and I'm still happy with the overall on the HDST drives. But I tell you what, this Seagate, I mean, it, yeah. 12 TBs, 25,000 drives, 1.29%, not absolutely terrible, uh, but not near as good as, I mean, granted, we only have 79 of these drives, but these 12 terabyte right here, these HGSTs, storage is uh, definitely a key issue when it comes to, you know, where do we put all the stuff? And it's really good. I'll leave a link to this, of course, so you can read through here because they also talk about some of the uh, details and things that they're working on because Backblaze is greatly expanding as fast as they can because the demand for cloud storage is growing rapidly too. And if you're not familiar with uh, Backblaze, check them out. They're actually a pretty cool company for doing block storage at really reasonable prices. We've done some work with them. Uh, we have some storage systems built that use Backblaze as a backend for backup. It works well. And we've never had a problem. All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback. Or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.